Let's start with the differences that can be found in every moment. The poster in the Big Ben restaurant has been redesigned. In the configuration menu, the Phantom Tish logo has been removed, and if you try to change the brightness settings in Royal appears an in-game image that depends on your current position and camera. In Royal there are new requests, and you unlock the first one after completing Madarame's Palace. The tree has cooler higher. Most of the Persona 5 portraits have been redesigned. In Persona 5, when a shop runs out of stocks for an item, near it will appear sold out, while in Royal appears booked. Takemi voice actress change in the English audio version of Royal. <sighs> Please head to the exam room. Please head to the exam room. Okay, which one? Okay. Which one? You want a shot? You want a shot? Take care. Take care. In Royal Akechi is a normal confidant and you can hang out with him and unlock new skills. In Persona 5 it's a story related confidant like Morgana and Igor. During cloudy days the lights are on and the clouds have been redesigned. In Royal sometimes the loading screen will have Kichi Joji's background. When you obtain an item the world appears right away and in Royal it's cat while in Persona 5 it's got. In Royal, Makoto is an extra basic skill, Makajama. Every time you level up in Persona 5, there's a button that remembers you that you can create personas of your new level and that your HP and the speed have increased. This feature has been removed in Royal. The visual effects in the palaces have been redesigned. In Persona 5, in the locked treasure chest, it's possible to find treasures. In Royal, this feature has been removed. In Royal in the item menu there's a new section, Order Obtain, where you can find the last item you obtain in order, and the sections, Essentials and Key Items have been fusioned in one section. Most of the treasure chests in every palace are in a different position and with different items. In Royal you can find a treasure demon in a normal fight, while in Persona 5, after you win a fight and if the security level is high. Now we'll talk about the story differences. In Royal, after the cutscenes about Mother Ames confession, Ryuji invites you in a new zone, Kichi Joji, where you can obtain free stats, buy items from new stores, meditate at the temple, and find the Penguin Sniper. In the later, you can play darts to increase the button pass rank or play billiards to increase the technical rank. Both ranks features are only for Royal. And at the end of the day, you unlock a new request. In the afternoon, there's a new scene with Kazumi. The background of the dome has been changed. In the studio in Royal, you can find a display that shows the number of people that vote that the Phantom Thieves are real. Akechi has a longer chat with Joker in the studio. It doesn't leave before the scene with Saya, and there's an extra end dialogue. After the party, there's a chat with a photo. The dialogue between Ryuji and the two men is different and they have a name now. After the scene where Makoto and Dan talk about eating a crab, in Royal, if you go to Sandra Street, you can find them and interact. During the third pass, the first time you go to the hideout, there's a scene where Morgana tells you the default about a new type of attack with end. And at the end of the scene, just are activate. After you reach the treasure, the first time you go to the hideout, there's a scene where Yuji talks with Makoto for a new show time. The scene before sending the calling card and after are dubbed. What's the matter? Ato wa yokokujo dake nan desho? Jo, sasa to dashimashou. I see. Shibuya no machi zentai ni yokokujo o baramaita ga. In the casting after the boss fight there are more people in the background and the palace has a better texture. Let's start with the last section, the palace differences. In Royal there are more decorations throughout the palace. When you reach the entrance hall in Royal there's a dialogue about dog shadows with a new tutorial about the showtime, an almighty attack with animation. And if you open Morgana dance stats, after the showtime you can find two new portraits. In Persona 5, the dialogue is about the first time the Phantom Thieves reach the bank, and you can find the dialogue about the dog when you reach the second floor. In Royal in the Palace, you can find Black Woods instead of Angel. After the elevator scene, you can find a room on the left with a new shortcut for the second floor of the bank. The first map of the palace shows the upper floor of the passageway, while in Persona 5 is the lower floor. 
In Royal there are 4 cameras, then 2 in the corridor where you find them for the first time. The control panel for the cameras is different. In the next room there's a new enemy and a tutorial for the status ailments. The room where you deactivate the cameras near the stairs is larger, with some cameras and the red shadows be removed. In the zone you can find two panels, one for the cameras near the stairs and the other one for the cameras in the room. In Persona 5, both panels are only for the cameras near the stairs, and one of them is in a different room. After the stairs in Royal you reach the security room, in Persona 5 you reach a zone near the safe room. Near the security room there's a new dialogue, the door on the top right and the cameras, near the stairs and the vault have been removed, both doors on the bottom are blocked. To reach the right side now you need to use the grappling hook, there you can find a red shadow and a wheel seat. The left side is connected to the zone near the safe room, while in Persona 5 a corridor with some rooms. In the corridor you can find an enemy and some cameras, in Persona 5 there is a gate and a treasure chest. In Royal you can find one panel for the outermost cameras in the security room in the same zone, and for the other two cameras in one of the rooms near the corridor. In Persona 5 you need only one panel to deactivate all four cameras. The second panel controls all the cameras near the stairs and the vault. Both panels are in a room reachable through a van. In Royal, in this room, there's only a treasure chest. The zone connect to the safe room is larger, there's a new camera and the door for the corridor and a room in this zone have been moved. Inside the room you can find a panel for the cameras in the corridor and outside. In Persona 5 there are some cameras inside the room and the panel is outside where you can find the door in Royal. The security guards have a different stance. In the security room now there are some monitors. The dialogue between the Phantom Thieves about the keys for the vault door happen in a different position. In Royal the security guard is running. The second map in Royal shows the same layout of Persona 5 and in the minimap now you can even see the elevators. In Royal in the laundering office you can find more platforms and grappling hook spots to reach a wheel seat and a treasure. You can even use them to reach a corridor, while in Persona 5 they can be used to reach the elevator for the next floor right away. In Persona 5 in the corridor there's a treasure chest. The stairs to the vault's elevator are facing the safe room, while in Persona 5 the mini boss and you can't evade the fight to save. On the first floor of the vault, the first passage has been removed, more cameras has been added and to proceed you need to use a control panel to open a rolling shutter. After the cutscene there's a new dialogue where the PA system talks about the golden pig. After the rolling shutter, in Royal you find the pin device on the right and you start from the second floor, while in Persona 5 you find the stairs for the first floor and to reach the pin device you need to do the complete tour. In Persona 5 on the first floor there are 3 dead ends, the golden pig is on the second one protected by a red shadow and to return to the second floor there's only one staircase. In Royal on the first floor there are 2 dead ends, the golden pig is on the way for the second floor and you can open a vault to return to the pin device. On the second floor of the vault after the second staircase you reach the warehouse, while in Persona 5 there's a corridor, some cameras and a panel before the warehouse. In Royal you can explore the warehouse where you can find some enemies and jump on some money shelves to reach a panel to free the way for the next part of the floor. In Persona 5 the warehouse is full of electric traps, so you need to reach a vent to reach another vent to proceed. And if you return to the warehouse, you can find a golden pig. In Royal, some cameras, a panel, and an enemy have been added in the first part of the corridor. And in the final part, there are less cameras, and in a different position, a red shadow and the panel has been moved after the stairs. In the final zone, you can find some cameras, more walls, the golden pig that is in the warehouse in Persona 5, and a new type of door. In Persona 5, the panel controls the electric traps in the warehouse, and when you open the golden pig, two enemies will spawn. The boss in the vault floor is different. In Royal, the second control panel in the vault floor has the right and left button, while in Persona 5, there's only one. If you press the left button, you unlock a new zone where you find the last wheel seed and its guardian. 
On the third floor of the vault, the rooms on the left, the whole corridor to the warehouse, the cameras, the enemy, and the panel have been removed. In Persona 5, Takemikata can appear in a normal fight, in Royal only if you fight against a red shadow. In the warehouse you can find cameras, a dialogue, a golden pig, electric traps, and control panels. The next part has been remade is completely different. For example they changed the minimap, the number of panels, cameras and golden pigs, and the position of everything. In Persona 5 in this part you can find the turn page, you find the warehouse in Royal. Only one thing remained the same, the room where you find the pin device, but you reach it in a different way. In Persona 5 you need to crawl into a vent in the warehouse, when in Royal it's on the path and you can use the vent to reach some treasures. In the minimap the pin device and the money shelves are marked in a different way. In Persona 5 if you go to the Vever room from June 21th you'll unlock the gallows. While in Royal, after you find the treasure in the third palace, you'll unlock the fusion alarm, a new function in Royal that changes to red the color palette and improves all the mechanics in the velvet room, but ends when a device breaks down and to activate again you need to kill some shadows. You'll unlock the gallows in the next palace. When you find the turn page the important part is highlighted in red. The boss fight starts in a different way, in Royal Kaneshiro calls Pigitron right away, in Persona 5 you need to defeat him before he calls Pigitron, and there are unique dialogues that have been removed. In Royal it's Makoto to tell you to regroup the party if you need, and the second part of the dialogue is different. In Royal when Kaneshiro used the super VIP form attack, Pigitron starts spinning right away and the next turn is going to attack. In Persona 5 you have two turns before Pigitron uses March of the Pig and in the meantime you can damage Kaneshiro to interrupt the attack. March of the Pig in Royal can be interrupted only if you throw an expensive item to Kaneshiro, if not it's going to use the attack until you die. In Persona 5 Pigitron can use March of the Pig in every moment and even if you don't interrupt it, the next attack can be everything. After you defeat Pigitron in Persona 5 the boss fight ends, while in Royal you fight against Kaneshiro. Everything in this part is new. All the attacks of Kaneshiro are different, and in this part he calls two mercenaries to help him in the fight. After you defeat him there's a new dialogue. Well penguins, this is the end of the third part. Thanks for watching, and I hope I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.